What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day seven of my month-long palette resurrection I'm calling dead palettes walking and I, of course I have a new title for everyone every day because it's It's just fun for me that way. I love making up words and stuff This is my holiday version of a no buy where I'm spending the entire month going through my entire palette collection I'm doing a new tutorial every single freaking day I will link the playlist down below if you want to watch the previous palette resurrections and see if maybe there's a palette in there That you own you want to see a look I did with it whatever but yeah i am just kind of taking this month and these 25 days here to appreciate the palettes that i already own and have loved for a long time and just kind of lose sight of from time to time so today of course we are going to be resurrecting the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette now this palette i actually didn't get it when it was like super popular what happened was I ordered the Too Faced mystery box last Christmas as like a gift to myself and trust me I will never order another freaking mystery box or subscription box. I've never done subscription boxes for the same reason that I shouldn't have ordered the mystery box. But here we are. I got it anyway. I thought, you know, sure, I'll have some cool stuff in it. Uh, no, it didn't. This was literally the only thing in it that I gave a shit about and I think it was like $40. It was a waste of money for me, but you know, the, you live and you learn. This palette now, this palette actually had quite a good run on social media. It had quite a good run on Instagram and YouTube because lucky for this palette, it came out before the constant bombardment of new releases every friggin' day of our friggin' lives and all these new brands had come out. So this, so when I say this palette has seen better days, I mean it literally, this palette has seen better days. Like it actually went had a pretty good run and people really did like it and they really did use it for quite a long time now i think one of one, i think was it georgia harris that said this is like her favorite palette of all time i can't remember if that was her or not georgia i'm sorry if i just lied about that but i'm pretty like somebody i know said this is like their favorite palette of all time i know mel thompson likes it because she or no maybe she doesn't like it no she did like this one she didn't like the peanut butter and honey one i think i think this one got better reviews than the peanut butter and honey or is it vice versa i think it Anyway, I like this palette, and unpopular opinion time, I like the smell of this palette. It's funny, because when I first got it and I like did some looks with it, I was like, you know what? Um, I'll take it or leave it. It smells like those erasers that you got when you were in elementary school, and you went to the, you went to the bookmobile or the book fair, and you got to buy those cool erasers that smelled so freaking good, and you wanted to buy every single one, but you didn't, because you only had money to buy like two. And then eventually those erasers would start to smell like ass crack for no real reason other than pr possibly they like expired or something. That is what this smell reminds me of and at first while I said I would take it or leave it honestly it's it's grown on me and I, I enjoy it every time. I <sighs> The smell makes me want to buy like more Too Faced palettes. It really does. Like honestly I wanted the gingerbread palette only because I thought it was going to smell like gingerbread and then it turns out it didn't. Thanks for nothing Too Faced shit and give us peach and chocolate and whatever the hell this is and then give us a gingerbread palette that doesn't smell like gingerbread anyway um so i'm i've been adding a tidbit of information into each video kind of encouraging people to um take stock of what they have as opposed to just rushing to buy every new release because let's be real there are too freaking many and you don't need them all so why do you need any of them right all right guys let's go ahead and get to the tutorial so first I'm going to set the concealer I put down with a little bit of that white shade. It doesn't really have a lot of pigment. It's more or less translucent in my opinion. Then I'm going to go into Spread the Love with a synthetic fluffy brush. This brush is a little bit more dense so it works on shades like this that are really light and don't have a whole lot of pigment. I'm just going to put that in my crease. Then I'm gonna go into peanut butter with that same brush and I'm gonna pretty much go right over top of the other shade. The other shade is really just gonna help blend that one out. Then I'm gonna take a round crease brush and I'm gonna go into Nuts About You and I'm gonna put that on the outer third of my lid and bring it right up into my crease just a little bit and blend it out into my crease shade. Then I'm going to go into Jammin'. I'm going to take this stiff, skinny brush by Cosette, and I'm going to put that right around the outside edge of my lid. I'm kind of following the outline of my eyeball here. I'm just going to keep building that up until I'm happy with it. And it gets kind of difficult, so I ultimately go in with a fluffier brush and build it up even more. And 
this is the part where I have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until everything matches. This is kind of a blending intensive look, but yeah, just going back and forth and making sure everything matches along the way really helps. Then I'm gonna take that tiny little fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into Jelly. This is a difficult shade to build up when you're using a fluffy brush and not your finger or a wet shading brush but I'm gonna use it right there on the inner part of my crease. Contour that inner part of my brow bone with that shade and just build it up until I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go back into Jammin' and build it up in my outer corner a little more. Just following that line I already put down, I'm just gonna make it thicker. Gotta have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I get everything matching the way I want it to. Go back and forth with Jelly and Jammin' in the crease until both sides match. Then I'm going back in to spread the love with that round crease brush and just blending out the edges. Then I'm gonna go into peanut butter with my finger and put that right on the center of my eyelid on both sides and then just blend out the edges. Going back into jelly, of course, just building that purple up a little bit more on the inner part of my crease. Back into the peach shade and I'm gonna put that all over my lower lash line, just messily. Just gonna blur that out and build it up until I've got a little bit of a shadow there, but not much. And then back into Nuts About You again, just putting it right over top of that other shade. The first shade just helps blend this one out and I'm gonna diffuse that all over the outer half of my lower lash line. I'm not gonna drag it all the way to the inner corner as best I can, but just mainly on the outer half and then fade it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna go into Jammin' again, that dark purple shade, put that right on the outer part of my lower lash line, just kind of following the line from the top, following that same shape, and then blending it out. Then I'm going back into Jelly, the purple shade, the same pencil brush, and I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my tear duct that I tried to leave as blank as possible. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go into bananas and I'm gonna put that right just on my tear duct, not completely over the entire purple shade, but just right on my tear duct on both eyes. And this is the look before I go in on my brow bone. Of course, I had to clean my brow bone up a bit and then I'm going in with bananas and I'm gonna put that shade, the same shade I put on my inner corner, I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. I'm letting my brows grow out so they're kind of a mess. And for lips, I'm just gonna put on lip gloss. I'm using Dose of Colors Goals. It's just a lip gloss with like a gold flake in it. It's super, super pretty. I freaking love this lip gloss. I'm not even a lip gloss person in general, but I love it. And that is the finished look. All right, y'all, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, and if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I will link that in the description box. If you would like to become a patron of mine on Patreon, I will also link that in the description box. Um, when I start to get more patrons, I'm gonna start doing like more Patreon exclusive content. I appreciate anybody who contributes to my Patreon already, or if you just simply watch my videos, I mean, I appreciate that as well. So I will see you all tomorrow for my next Dead Palette Walking. Later, guys.